This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this chapter, we're just going to look at loading an object from the presets that ship with Carrera into your scene. So first we're going to create a blank scene. So file, new, medium size will be fine for this. So we just go to an empty scene. And there we see a scene with just a camera and a light. The light is indicated by the arrow here that gives the direction of the light. And the camera we're actually looking through, so you can't actually see that within the scene, although you could if you looked at, say, a top view or a side view. If we then go to the browser and select the Object tab, there's a whole host of different objects available that ship with Carrera. Some are more detailed than others. In the top section, there's a whole list of landscape objects We've got deserts, we've got plains, we've got mountains, all different types of landscape. I'm just going to select the iceberg and to load it, we just drag it into the scene and it will actually load to the point where you drag it to. So if I do that again and drag one over here, then you can see that it loads in that position. I'm just going to delete those with pressing the delete key. We can also load them into a default position for that particular object by just dragging onto an empty space over here or dragging to where it says scene. And that will load it into a default position for that particular object. That's useful if you've got a scene that contains several different objects that are aligned with respect to each other to make sure that they load into the correct position. Just delete that off again. Have a look at some of the other things that ship with Carrera. We've got some plants. There is a whole plant system within Carrera that we'll be having a look at later, but you can see various plants and trees there. I'll just give you an example of that hanging fern. Plants, when they initially load, tend to just show the trunk and branches, but there are a lot more detail than is shown on the preview here. If we just do a test render of that, then we can see that there's a lot more detail to that particular object. Look at some of the other things. We've got clouds whole range of different cloud shapes, densities and textures. There we've got particle systems. Again, we're going to look in detail at some of the particle systems that are available later. And then there's a whole host of other items that are in categories, aircraft, arts, buildings, cities, communication and so on. Some of these are fairly basic objects, but can still be useful within your scenes or to enhance within your own editing and modeling, but handy to have all of those there. Just give an example of one of those. That's the arch loaded into the scene. Under the help menu, there is an object catalog, so you can browse fairly easily there and get previews of all of the different things that are available. If you prefer to do it that way, you can't actually load them from there, but you can just browse to see what objects are available within the system. And finally, that is likely to contain objects for you to load in addition to complete scenes. I'm just going to look at one of those, the urban triplex scene. There's an empty room and we can just drag that in and there we can see an empty room ready to put people in, put furniture in and so on.